Good morning. This is the first walk I think I've ever started instantly running. My left foot feels terrible. This might be the only running I do because of that. Like right in the middle of my left foot. This is really super fucking sore. All right, gotta focus, thanks. <laughs> I've almost, uh, I've almost made it an entire mile without stopping, which is gonna be huge. I have to record it. So, one, I don't stop early. <clears throat> and two, I capture this big moment. Come on, come on, come on, just a little bit more. I've never done this before. A full mile without stopping. <sighs> Please, it's happening in a second. It's happening, yes. My first ever 110 minute mile. Oh, that's very big news for me. Oh, I'll be real. I didn't think I was anywhere close to being able to do that. And the fact that I'm still walking and I'm not on the fucking ground. I wanted to stop so many times. You know, I told myself, oh, I can get to half a mile. Uh, uh, then, you know, it was like I can get to three quarters of a mile. I just kept, kept saying I could keep going. I could make it a little bit further. Uh, but yeah, I had to document that because earlier I made it seem like I was going to stop running and I was. My foot was not feeling good. The runner's high and I can actually say runner's high. Kind of overpowered the foot pain. <sighs> so yeah, super exciting. That's all I wanted to say is you captured me making my first mile. I'm proud of myself. I really didn't know if I could, was capable of doing it. Even though I'm exhausted, I'm pretty excited. I'll let out a little woo. Didn't even check if someone was by me. Hey, you want me to be confident real quick? Woo. That's about all I can do. It's cringy at this point. All right, peace and love. I read the dixie. <laughs> oh, I just crushed. I actually crushed that for once. I mean, I think I've crushed to my standards a lot of them, but today I ran my first ever mile fully without stopping. First under 10 minute mile. You'll see right here. Was able to run even a little bit after my mile run, which I didn't think. I thought I was cooked after that. I thought I was I had nothing left, but I was able to run. So it, it wasn't just spent. I'll give myself a point for that. Also, I was able to, um, hey TT, I was able to run half of the time. And then I finished strong. I really didn't think I was going to run on the way back, but I ran the last like third of a mile. That's five points. I've already earned five points today. I'm just killing it. I'm happy. Happy go lucky. And now Theo's happy too. We crushed it. <laughs> Good morning. I was gonna maybe not run. I'm feeling the urge to maybe give it a go, but yesterday I was really struggling <laughs> at the back half of the day. I think it was mixed with heartburn though too. I was dealing with some pretty hard breathing all day after my run. Like deep breaths weren't very fun. Dad made a couple of pneumonia jokes. Brett thought maybe I pulled something in like my neck area. It wasn't a great night for me. I slept on the couch because I just was also dealing with a runny nose and I didn't want to keep Brett up with like <sighs> and blow out my nose and stuff. So I didn't want to run, but like, I, I just feel like maybe I should just because, you know, but it's okay if I don't run the whole mile, you know, just get, get a little maybe half mile run, then a half mile run later. I might be okay, right? Regardless, I'll either tune back in and you'll see me going, <gasps> I'm dying. Or you'll see me probably at the end of the walk. I'm running. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm glad I ran the mile. Not under 10, it was about 12 something. I'm kind of glad I ran it because about like, <clears throat> At the ninth of the mile, my stomach really started hurting. It actually kills. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. I'm about to grab my pants. And I really don't want to grab my pants. I have to run an errand to go get dad a gift. So that's gonna involve a walk a little later. So once I get to the end of this little walkway, I'm turning around, going home. So why? I don't crap my pants. Glad I ran, but the running is what was making me feel like I was about to crap my pants. I really don't wanna, don't wanna crap them, so. I'm just gonna walk home. My like neck right here during the run was killing me into like my shoulder. Kind of gave me fear of a heart attack, which also played a role in maybe not running faster than a 10 minute mile. One, not crapping my pants. Two, not collapsing on the side of a sidewalk. Seven o'clock in the morning with crap pants and a heart attack. So I got a little scared. Peace and love. Arrivederci.
I'm only running again because I am literally, literally seconds away from grabbing my pants. I can't, I can't afford that in public. So I'm running desperately to get home. As if you didn't hear me before, I said, I'm about to grab my pants. On the way to Primadora to buy something for my pops. It's his birthday today. But yeah, I ran like the first third mile, third of a third of a mile, just because I could, <laughs> which is good for me. That means I'm getting more comfortable doing it. It was like, oh, I'll just walk. And then I started crossing the street and I was just like, all right, I guess I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll run. I definitely feel it in my calves. I kind of just stopped the instant I felt any kind of pain in my shoulder. Primadora. I only was able to get a card, so. I'm gonna walk a bit further down and see if anything pops out to me for dad. Obviously, I was working on a special song for Roe, which by the time you see this episode, it would already come out. So go check out my Under the Sea parody for Roe. But I wasted most of the morning recording that. Not wasted, but you know what I mean? Now I'm crunching time because I gotta get to work, but then after work, I'm going right to dad, so I gotta find a birthday gift. Peace. All right, I found something for dad. Pretty funny, or at least I think it's funny. Well, I got two little things from a candy shop. My family used to really like Pez, and my dad likes the Mandalorian. So I got him a, a Baby Yoda Grogu Mandalorian. I gotta talk fast because it's melting, but I had to treat myself to some ice cream. Come on, come on, it's okay. It's two scoops of vanilla chocolate ice cream blue belt. Like, I was in the candy shop, what do you expect from me? And then I got four bottles of root beer, but the brand's called Dad's. So for Dad's birthday, yeah, it just had to happen. All right, I'm gonna eat this. Mm. Damn, that's good. My mustache is covered in ice cream. I'm showering when I get home. But my hands are totally full with my phone, this bag, and then my ice cream. But I'm pounding it right now. We'll see if I regret it in two seconds. But chocolate's all gone. Damn, that's good. Ice cream done. Almost home. Got some chocolate on my face. <laughs> that's okay. It was so freaking good. So flipping good. So fudging good. Oh man, it was good. Welcome to Tuesday. I'm a little bit behind, but as you saw from yesterday, I nearly crapped my pants while I was running. And you know what? I just had to play it safe and make sure I didn't crap my pants today. So this episode of BJ's Training, it might as well be the GD title. BJ Training, colon, I nearly crapped my pants. That's a winner of a title, a banger of a title, actually. I'm gonna, be, gonna go on my walk. I'm in my tank. <sighs> Feeling good, my legs are definitely super sore. Or I got pitch and putt with dad at nine. So I'm probably gonna just do three and a half. The past two days, the running's been kind of hurting my um like shoulder and neck area and I don't wanna get injured. So I'm gonna commit to the three and a half, I think. Unless, say it with me, I feel like I'm gonna crap Grab my pants. pants. And be short again. All right, see you out there. I've passed the mile mark. I haven't stopped yet. And my new personal best for me. 1.2. This is not stopped running so far. Pretty proud. I think I can get to one, one and a half before I have to stop. Just wanted to update you because I just got a new milestone. Hang loose. Peace. Every video, I don't want it to throw up. I don't want to throw up. I was only able to get to 1.6. Ah, it's because it started going uphill. I'm not ready for uphill. So I'll give myself a getting over one, 1. 1.5. Obviously my legs are on, on fuego, in fuego. Do you see fire down there? They must be on fire. Shoulder pain wasn't that bad. It came and it came and went. As my runner high elevated, pain disappeared. I'm not talking too much. I wanna go back to listen to music. Catch you on the flip side. Hang loose. Oh, I made it. I made it back. As you can tell, I drenched in sweat. It was only a 3.25. <laughs> Which actually, you know, it's not that bad. It's just 0.75 less than I normally do. I broke my P, my personal best. Personal record, I don't know. We're gonna go with PB, because I like PB and J's. Personal best, I ran for a straight my 1.6 miles. I think I kept, oh, the stats. I kept, I think, the average pace of the 3.25 miles under 12 minutes, which is really good for me. Out of the 3.25, I'm pretty sure I was running almost 2.5 of it. So that's really good for me. I ran pretty much for like 75% of this walk. Holy shit. I am fried. But there was never, never a fear of crapping my pants, so that's good. Rise and grind. <laughs>
I won't say that again. I might, but I'll never mean it seriously. I was able to get home. Well, I've been home for like 10, 15 minutes now. I said to have, if I started filming right when I got home, I would have been like, <sighs> just right, three, four, two. Feeling good. Yahoo! Oh. O'Brien taking his approach on the green. Everything is on the line on this putt. His dignity, his pride. For birdie, he's got it. Did he read the hill right? Oh, what a fool, he left it short. That is music. Hell yeah. This thing's sick. Overall, we did pretty good though, Dad. Yeah, too bad that we kind of lost our... Our mojo? Yeah. Thanks, pitch and putt. And you can't, um... No, yeah, the course made thing made me made me feel like I was a pretty good golfer. Good morning. I'm in an absolute pickle. I was actually hoping Esther would wake me up at like five something today, so I could walk then. I wasn't gonna set an alarm because I can't afford to piss bread off an hour before she has to go to work. So I was relying on my dog, who's usually pretty reliable at waking me up earlier than I want. But as I've been saying all. BJ training episodes. Ash has been working on some nap gains and they really came through for her today because she slept. The bummer is it's seven now, but I have to be at Cowan at eight. So I don't think I can do it. So I'm a little sad. Wee. Maybe this forced rest day will be good. Oh, this angle. They're in between my knees. Uh, <laughs> it's not, it doesn't look right. Come on, I just want to do one shot with this angle. Arrivederci. Ah, just ran for two miles with, I think, well, I ran probably for one and a half and then walked, fast walked for the rest. At the end, I was really freaking gassed and I was trying to keep it under 11. I think. The stats will show you it was exactly 11. I ran out of real estate. I could have ran past the house, but you know when you're like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom and your body like miraculously is holding on. But then like the second you're within striking distance of a toilet, your body's like, oh, I did my part. Get ready to crap your pants. And you're just begging it. You're like, no, no, I'm not there yet. So I was running the last, you know, 0.3 of a mile or whatever. It was like an 1110 pace. So I started running, desperately trying to trim it down get that under 11 and I was getting closer and closer to the house. It was like 11.03, 11.02, 11.01. I'm like at my house, 11. And the thing where you have to crab your pants, like my body could not go anymore. It could not push any further. So I ran through the gate, kind of hurt my wrist trying to open it, ran to the door, rushed to end my workout. I thought I saw it say 10.59, but the data doesn't lie. It's 11. So a little disappointed on that. Now I got to shower and get ready for work. Oh, Franny's here. Franny. Morning. Today is the day my sister is, I think to be fully induced, give birth, <laughs> which is very exciting. I have the day off today. What I was hoping to do with the day off today was go on a really, really, really long walk, but I don't know if you can tell. It's raining. That walk's kind of in pretty serious jeopardy. I might honestly only get like a mile in just turn around because I don't want to be like miserable or get myself sick. I wanted to at least get out and move and I'm not running at all. I don't think I said that yet, but I'm not going to run today. I'm going to let my legs just chill. I've been telling myself to go easy for like five straight days and every day I'm like, I'm gonna run. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a heart attack. I'm actually gonna just walk, it's not, especially since it's rainy and gross. Oh, that was almost me eating it in some mud. <laughs> Don't vlog and exercise. <laughs> got bad, I got bad weather. I mean, look at that. I'm gonna have to park all over this. It's just so gross. So I'm at least getting myself moving a little bit. I uh, my hands freezing, so I'm gonna put my phone away. So I can just focus on listening to music and hopefully not get pneumonia. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you want a drip look? All right, so I got a beanie, raincoat, long black tee underneath. 
black sweats, black shoes. If I feel like I've had a, bra a black raincoat, I'd look sleek as hell. Maybe not like slim as hell, but <laughs> I'm working on it. I always, I always tell Brett when she wears all black, she just looks so badass. She just, just looks so cool when she's wearing all black, like black leggings, black top, black beanie. Sometimes the beanie can have a little bit color, like brown beanie. And I'm just like, damn, that look is fire. So maybe one day I'll get myself a black fit, see if it, if it, you know, if it transfers, that fire transfers over to me. Oh, my hand's freezing. Arrivederci. <laughs> it's really coming down now. I'm only, I only got like half a mile left. It started picking up lightning, which is pretty scary too. <laughs> and you can't tell how bad it's pouring, but it's pouring. It's pouring. Gosh darn rain. Just want to let you know. I think it's going to end up being like 2.2 miles. <sighs> Keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Hope I don't get pneumonia. I ended back from the walk. I ended up running the last like third of a mile because it was literally pouring rain. So, you know, I think it was 219. <gasps> Stats! <sighs> no. That was close. <laughs> that was close. Never eat cereal before any exercise whatsoever. It's a lesson for you. It's a lesson for me. One I should have known because it happens anytime I eat cereal before I do anything active. I don't care that active thing is three hours later. It still rocks me like a hurricane. Uh, uh, uh. But that's my update. You know, main thing today is Hannah, Cody, and Little Ree. I'll be working on her little song video that I talked about earlier in the video. Hopefully have that ready for production. I don't know if you heard that. That was thunder shaking the screen like a hurricane. Franny's very confused. She desperately wants to go outside, but she hates the rain. Oh, she said no cameras. <laughs> <gasps> This dog is built different. <laughs> 